What's wrong with the pump can? You hear me? Like, look, look, go down. <laughs> That's where pressure go, on. No, no, go to this side. Let's see who you like. That's crazy. You put pressure on it and it's good now. There you go, Long. You can see how you can put this shit right there, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You like, oh, yeah. It's pissing on it. You can put this shit on here if you don't. This is the best. No, I like the ones that pump, no. personally. I got it for the right because a big leak like that, you'd have been pumping all day and you never would have heard it. Oh, either. yeah, you're right. You're right. Hey, so, on. who makes that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who hey, makes that? Real people. Yeah. I got one of those. That's the one I use. Right. This is this, is this one. And then you take this one. They each has their advantages, okay? No. Yes, they <laughs> they each. The, the goal is the same shop. thing, right? You don't have shop air. If you <laughs> the only advantage to it is I don't have shop air. Right. Listen, if you have hey, shop air, the advantage on this, here, like you said, you'll be doing this yeah. and here. And you never would have found the leak because and you I didn't even build need it up no fast cooling. enough before it leaks out. And you see, I didn't even need no cooling here. Right, that's what I like about it. You ain't got to fill it before you use it. Because you, you do one, have you, to fill it. Oh, and you got to put cooling in to you see do. the leak. You do have to play. That one you can hear the. You got one of them too. Yeah, mine's Matco or Snapper. Who make that? What's the name of it? Matco or Matco or Snapper? What's the name of it? Full pressure tester. I mean, okay, smart ass. That's what it's called. Wow. Dude, one leak at a time. One leak. Look at that gravity in it. Look at that. One leak. Look at this. Oh yeah, it's pissing right down the seam. I, I can't just fucking yeah. replace the fucking. <laughs> Dude, one yeah. one leak at a time. Yeah, it's not much you need. It's just a radiator, a thermostat, and a fucking old cooler. You may have just exceeded the value. Oh, this is a nice Durango. I mean, the wheel side works. Hey, you got look. You got a mess down here now. So all that pumped on your floor. Well, that's okay. I'm alright. Yeah. Nick here. With an engine flush. Nick is here. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go back. Uh, let's go down to my neck of the wood. Let me see. Yeah, show y'all what I'm up to. Uh, Ram 1500. Uh, I got a lot of Ram 1500 uh, sub owners out there. P. Gavin, uh, Coyote. Yes, three six guys. Y'all can see what I'm doing. All right, I finally got it off, guys. I have to get up here and sit down and relax when I do something like this because this truck is so freaking huge. I can see my chair. This is what I use to climb up here. <laughs> then I have to get in here and get comfortable and I have to have some tools near because I don't have you know the chance to reach over and grab a tool because my tray is over there and I'm up high oh this is what I, I had to go find my sucker guys let me show y'all something do not guys when you pull that housing off that adapter housing you're going to be left with something like this guys you got to get all that out of there well I hope y'all not putting new oil filled adapter housing on with this much crud uh oil that's all mixture of oil and some coolant problem because when i took the housing out um coolant spilled out all right so what i always do some people use rags to soak it all up but i just tend to go that's why my sucker is sitting in here guys this thing right here oh, what was we doing before they invented this guys so all i do is uh give it a couple i see that fluid it's coming up out of there and into here so yes and even then you're still not going to get it all out but at least i can suck it all out the goal guys you got to get that uh clean up you don't want the customer or the next oil change guy to think that this thing is leaking again remember it leaks down there on the rear of the transmission okay and it can easily look like or if the adapter has a leaking again all right guys so real quick i want to show y'all we was uh we was demonstrating that tool and how well it worked on let's say uh an oil filter adapter housing that's leaking it sprung a leak cooling leak or oil leak it can result in either but i want to show y'all a clip uh oil filter adapter housing that i was replacing one time it had ruptured inside guys and y'all know what happened when coolant and oil mix all right yes you will get that milkshake i want to show you some, some clips i recorded a long time ago 
on what could happen if you prolong getting this fixed. This customer got lucky. This didn't happen. Yes, the oil filter adapter has a leaking coolant, but the coolant did not make it into the oil uh, by way of the ruptured or cooler. Okay, so it did not get inside. But if you wait too long for the uh, to get this repaired, this is what could happen. All right, I'm going to let this clip play. Yeah, okay, uh, what I want to show you on this particular engine in this particular case is... Um, we have a coolant leak also going along. Along with this oil filter adapter housing, there's a cooler inside of it that antifreeze travels through. And if the internal construction inside of this oil cooler collapse or come apart, you will essentially get this. <laughs> so you got to be extremely careful when uh, uh, dealing with these things. That's why it's not really advisable to repair these. Because the early built model oil filter adapter housing was not made very well from the start. So uh, the best bet is simply, you see all that? That's water inside the oil. That would fool you and trick you into thinking you have a blown head gasket. Now along with that, you need to check the entire cooling system. So what I'm going to do right now is remove the thermostat housing. And as you can see, when I remove this housing, uh, this coolant oil mixture has traveled throughout the cooling system, people. Look at that. Milkshake. Look like milkshake. Uh, not good at all. So, that's why when you get a first sign of your oil filter douse, adapter house leaking, you should go ahead and replace it right away before this happens. Okay? That is a warning. If it's leaking, replace it. Do not try to repair it. It was built poor quality. Okay, now I'm gonna have to try to clean this out with my suction machine right here. Uh, you essentially gonna have to suck all that oil out of the intake area, all that bad mixture out of there. It will clog up your system, but you have to get out as much as possible. Now I'm not done checking the cooling system. I also need to remove the lower radiator hose up at the water pump, cause chances are it has traveled through that, as you can see on the radiator cap. Uh, I got this same oil coolant mixture inside the coolant reservoir. So one more check. Let's check at the water pump area. And what do we have here? Ah, more coolant in oil mixture. Not good, people. So this thing was essentially going to need at least three coolant flushes. We're going to have to try to get all of that out of there. A simple coolant flush will not cut it. You're going to have to do a major coolant flush. Uh, so I had to do it uh, three, four times coolant flush on this particular car. All right, now, uh, that's it, man. I don't really want, uh, you know, to scare you, but like I say, the first sign of oil leak, go ahead and replace that oil fit adapter housing. Well, that's all I have on this particular video. So uh, thanks for watching, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all on the next video.